Hi, I'm Jeff Richardson and I'm the County Executive for Albemarle County Government. I'm so pleased to get to visit with you today and we're excited about 2019, our year in review. It's been an exciting year in this community. Lots of vibrancy, lots of energy, and lots of positive things that are going on in our community. We're going to share some of those now with, with you and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Nonissa Turner and I work for Facilities and Environmental Services. Uh, this past summer we launched our Climate Mondays initiative um, that ran for three months and it was our attempt to really hear what constituents had to say and, and get their feedback for our Climate Action Plan. I'm Roger Johnson, I'm the Economic Development Director for Albemarle County. What you see in the background is the old woolen mills which will be the home of today's manufacturing Willow Tree, who creates apps for people all around the world. They're going to hire over 200 new employees, they're going to pay them well, give them career ladder jobs, creating career paths for our community members, as well as bringing new revenue into our county. We're very excited that Willow Tree chose Albemarle County to be their home. Hi, I'm Mike Culp. I'm the IT Director for Albemarle County and this year, 2019, we were fortunate enough to have a, an award for a broadband project for the Midway area of the county and it's going to provide fiber broadband to at least 600 locations within the county. And the benefit is for advanced education, telehealth, all the things that people need to access through the internet will now be available to people in the rural area of our county. And we'll continue to build uh, fiber access for people in the rural areas of Albemarle County. Hi, my name is Cameron. I'm Michaela, and we work in neighborhood planning at Albemarle County. The 2019 Pantops Master Plan update was an update to the master plan that establishes land use, transportation, parks and recreation, and environmental recommendations for the Pantops development area. And this was an important project because community members were advocating for the plan to be updated, and we worked with them to Hi, my name is Trevor Henry with the County Executive's Office and former Naval Officer. With me is... Jamie Gilner. I'm with the County Schools and I'm a former Army Captain. Uh, we're here to talk a little bit about the affinity group that we formed this year. Really excited about it. Uh, it's a, an employee-driven volunteer group. It's really based around our protected classes. We have obviously background in, in, uh, in veteran and military and so we wanted to try to, to start that up um, this year. Jamie? Yeah, so I think it's going to be a great initiative not only to have schools and county employees working together, but to highlight um, how veterans benefit our community and to hopefully have some really good events to support veterans in the community and in our schools. Hi, I'm Dana Robb. I am the um, Program Manager for Compensation Rewards and Human Resources. This year we had our employee recognition event in October and it was very well attended. It was the best turnout we've had in several years. Um, this is a great event to recognize our employees and show how much that we truly value um, their contributions to our organization. Joe Clark with the uh, Alma County Parks and Rec. We had over a thousand kids participate in our middle school sports programs. We had over 500 participate in our summer rec camps. Uh, we launched a new movie night at Men's Springs Park, we had over 80 kids and plan on having three more for next year. And we offered three more volleyball clinics this past year, had over 50 kids participate and I already had eight more volleyball clinics signed up for 2020. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Jones, also known as EJ. I was the project manager for Albemarle County's 275th founding anniversary celebration this year. And I was asked why I thought it was a success. Well, the first thing was people showed up. And when you have an event, it's always been when people show up. But more importantly for me and for the team was the fact that every single county department was represented on this project. Whether they showed up for a team meeting for brainstorming or they showed up the day of in order to pop out chairs, everyone came together to make this event a success. Hi, I'm Mead Whitaker, County Chief of Fire Rescue. This year in Fire Rescue, we started a new hiring process in which we required no previous or prior certifications to be held. That's allowed us to focus on hiring the right people for the job as opposed to people with the right certification for the job. We provided all training during the recruit school and we've had wonderful results in being able to hire great people through 
this process. And I'm John O'Prandy with County Fire Rescue, and all of this ties back to our public service covenant. We're trying to provide a professional and empathetic and responsive service, and this all enables us to do an even better job of that. Hello, my name is Ceci Stapler. I work for Albemarle County Department of Social Services. In Albemarle County, we have an increased population of Hispanic families. Um, with that being said, we also noticed, I noticed that during this um, work doing with families that are Hispanic, um, a lot of uh, CPS investigators came to a um, difficulty with doing forensic interviews as there were no forensic interviews, um, interviewers in Spanish in this county. They will have to contract with other uh, cities such as Richmond and Washington to bring a forensic interview when there was a situation that um, needed um, a, a trained forensic interview for a child who has been abused or neglected. This awoke a, a spark in me and I decided to request the county to help me become a forensic interviewer and uh, the county supported this uh, decision and here I Welcome to Kronos Land. There once was a system for keeping time. Its name proved quite difficult to rhyme. We also use it for leave. Implementation has at last been achieved. This team's work has been Sublime! Hi, I'm Rashawn Smith, and I work with Foster Care here at Albemarle County Department of Social Services. And I'm Jay Chowdhury. I work here at Albemarle County Social Services with Family Preservation. Um, with Rashawn, I started um, a group of um, a support group here after hours every Monday night. Um, and then I also started um, uh, two support groups, one for women and one for men. Uh, in the local Albemarle County uh, Charlottesville Regional Jail. So the idea behind the evening fatherhood group was just we wanted a group where uh, dads would be supported as they're going through the, uh, the relationship with social services and looking to uh, have their kids brought back home to their families. Any questions that they have, any um, need for resources that they had, just wanting them to feel free to bring those things to the table. Um, not just questions, but even their frustrations. Uh, how, how this, it's a difficult situation to be in. And so to have a place, and not just any place, but, but social services uh, building, where there may be a lot of fear, a lot of um, different uh, negative thoughts, to have this kind of place open for them to come for them to speak uh, to the, their concerns, their frustrations, their needs is really important so that they can feel confident when they come through these doors. This year, the Office of Management and Budget worked with the school division to continue efforts for the two boards to work together and build commonality by reconceptualizing the way the county approaches capital planning. The desired outcomes were for both the school board and the board of supervisors to understand the current state of the CIP identify affordability constraints in the context of growth and needs, and prioritize capital projects for the next five years. Hi, I'm Louise Wyatt, and I'm in the County Executive's Office. The key designated leadership meeting started a little over a year ago as a way to bring managers together from across the organization and build relationships and to really help them understand and implement our pillars of high performance. We see these meetings as a really important way to help us achieve our vision of being one organization committed to excellence. Hi, uh, Bill Letiri, uh, Chief Financial Officer for the Finance Department. So we, we submit this CAFR, as it's called, Comprehensive Financial Report, to GFOA for their review. And we're so pleased that we've gotten their very highest achievement award, which is their Certificate of Achievement in Government Accounting. Hi, I'm First Sergeant Matthew Powers with the Alamo County Police Department, and I'm here to talk about the Adopt an Elementary program. Um, back in the fall, at the beginning of school, we started sending officers to the elementary schools in a positive interaction with the students, staff, and parents. I feel that the Adopt an Elementary program truly is showing that we are one organization committed to excellence. Hello, my name is Marcia. This year we transitioned our county code to MUNICODE 
an enhanced platform that enables citizens and staff to access linked ordinances, Virginia State Code references, as well as archived versions of the code. Municode's layout and searchability are also greatly improved, and their codification of ordinances that have been adopted have been very fast. I'm Michael Freitas. I work in facilities and environmental services. And just a little quick overview of Yancey School Community Center. The Yancey School had always been more than just a school. It had also been a focal point uh, socially for uh, the area. And when the school closed, we continued that mission as opening up the community center to remain that focal point for the community. All right, I'm Siri Russell with the Office of Equity and Inclusion. I still wanna make this acronym work, so OI, uh, the Yancey School Community Center Project um, is really an example of Albemarle County living its mission to enhance the well-being and quality of life of all residents. This has been um, sort of a multi-department effort um, with Facilities and Environmental Services, with the Office of Equity and Inclusion, and with our friends in Parks and Recreation um, to expand opportunity and enhance services um, in Southern Albemarle. So we've been really excited to be a part of it and I've been really excited to have such an excellent teammate. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily Kilroy. I'm the Director of Communications and Public Engagement for the County and I'm happy to share that this year we uh, refreshed the County Seal. So uh, as we started working on our website project, we pulled together our colors and our logo and decided that um, it might be time to refresh on our 275th anniversary the look and feel of the county seal. So um, the new seal has an updated color palette and actually really gets closer back to the original vision of the county seal that was officially adopted back in 1950. We're really excited about how it honors our history but also um, reflects and projects where we really want to be in the future as a community. Hi, I'm Greg Kantner, Albemarle County Attorney. Um, I was a member of a team with members from other county departments who worked on the Southwood project. Uh, this was a public-private uh, partnership with Habitat for Humanity to uh, redevelop the Southwood community. Hi, I'm Megan Adossum and I'm a principal planner in community development. And this project allowed for our affordable housing goals to be realized by replacing um, substandard housing within the Southwood community. Now, I'm Christy Shiflett. I'm the director of the Project Management Office, and I have the privilege of working with these two folks, uh, as well as many other um, county staff. This really was an effort to maximize our resources and have uh, system and process alignment across the organization, as this project really touches many departments, and it takes a lot of people to make, make it successful. <laughs> 